Are you guys ready? Come and join me, Cookie, as we check out Gotcha Club. Woo! I am so thrilled and excited that it is here, it is out. So we're gonna be checking out the whole entire thing. So I just now booted up the app and I'm the most excited, of course, to create my character in this app, my little cookie gotcha girl. We're gonna check out all the different features and dive right in. Whenever I first get in here, of course, I'm at level one. This app just got released, like just got released. So here we've got all the main gotcha characters and I love the slight little animation. Oh, the potato. So let's go into my profile here. So you can put in all the information, personality, favorite color, favorite food or drink. So of course we've got all the presets here, all the changing of the bodies, which I'm just gonna get into this. I'm so ready, I'm so ready. Change out all the different head pieces here, clothing and all the others, like your props and effects. Look at all the different characters you can have. You can actually, oh, look at that. You could have 90 different characters, really? Oh, you can store 90 backup care. Oh, I am so excited. All right, so I'm gonna call this one my cookie gotcha girl. So this is my cookie girl. This is where I can edit all of Cookie's information here, like maybe my favorite color is black. Favorite food or drinks? Well, I mean, obviously cookies and gummy bears. Personality, happy, bubbly, occupation, YouTuber. All right, so now I wanna get customizing. So let's start with Cookie's body. Oh, look at all these skin tones. Oh, this is so cool. I mean, they literally have every color under the rainbow here of all these different color variations. I'm so, so happy for that. And then you can actually change the outline color too. Oh, that is so cool. I mean, look at that. Like I could have my character like glow pink if I wanted to. Oh, I just might do that. Oh, I'm tempted. I'm really tempted. All right, now I'm gonna go in. Now look at all these different poses that we've got here. So these are all the different pages to click and you can actually go by the ones that are po Oh, This is so convenient to find the ones that are doing all the different poses that you need to find like sleeping, jumping, running, falling, combat, dance, instruments. And there's 50 pages for you to flip through to find your perfect pose. Change the scale the height of the character. I mean, you can just totally make them like whatever scale you want. Vertical and horizontal. Okay, I'm super short. I'm only as tall as Ariana Grande, so I'm I'm really short, but I'll, I'll make my character kind of like average. Head size, you can change the head size too. <gasps> Rotate the head, so now you can actually move the head however you need it to be. Oh, look at that, you can like slant the body. You can flip them. Move their left hand to be different poses. And of course you can remove the shadow. Oh, now you can actually like make it different sizes. <gasps> All right, I need to fix this hand. Left hand needs to be fixed. Okay, there we go. So left hand is fixed. Now let's customize my head, which I like to go for fantasy colors personally, even though I have brown hair, I want like rainbow hair in real life. That is my dream, but I will stick to as close to my normal gotcha that I kind of created my OC. I gave her like brown hair with purple just cause I thought it would be fun. Oh, we should probably change the hair so I can actually see it a lot better. Here's all the different hair pieces. So let's change the front hair so I can just click through. 17 pages of front hair, which I'll possibly change her style up. I may not keep it the same, just cause I wanna see what she looks like. I mean, you can just do so many different styles. Back hair, change it up. Oh, so cool. Little ponytail pieces you can add in. Just play around with it. Oh, I like the swirl. She could literally have a swirl on her. All right, and then I'm gonna go in and just kind of fade out that hair a little bit. Oh, I guess now is kind of my time to change it up if I wanted to change it. I'm still liking purple hair right now. Actually, I'm kind of rocking like this blue color right now, like in Star Stable. All right, eyes. Got the seven pages of all these different eyes, the little button eyes. And I personally like to have the heart pupil that is pink, change her eyebrows. Now face, can actually give her a nose, change the mouth out. So I can give her some blush, change the highlight in her hair. Oh, this is cool. You can change her chin shape. Oh, you can change the chin shape. Look at that. Eye highlight, eye view. She looking at you or is she looking off to the side? Change the blush position and a face shadow. Got some presets here and adjustments. So if I wanted to make an adjustment to something, this is where I can make things longer, thicker, wider, move it over. I mean, look at this. You can have like the craziest, she has longer hair than her feet. Like it just goes down. Oh wait, but it looks like it is. Okay, it's like removing from her head though. Okay, well, let's put that back. Change it this way too. So you can make it like super thin or really thick. Same thing with this way, kind of drag it out. 
and rotate the hair. And yeah, it looks like you can do the same thing with the eyes. I can actually make eyes a little bit smaller, thicker, wider. I can flip her off. We can like move her eyes around. Move them closer together, further apart. Probably make her pupils a little bit larger. That's just how I had them. All right, now we're going into her clothing. Change and put different hats on her. <gasps> Koala hat with a loony hat. Glasses, I'm gonna put some glasses on her. Normally I wear black rim glasses like that, but why not change it up, right? Let's see, what other options do I have? Maybe I can tint them a little bit. No, can't tint them. More additional accessories. Unicorn horn, of course I want the unicorn horn. <gasps> Horse head, more accessories, more accessories. You can just go crazy with the accessories. Oh, this is so cool. All right, additional face accessories. I gave her a little heart on her face. Go, little heart, change the color, little scarf piece that she can wear. Now this is where I need to like figure out her outfit to see exactly what I'm going to give her. You can actually put a shirt logo on now. All right, now we got her outfit that you want her to wear. What do I want her to wear? Before I put her in like this little star outfit, but maybe I'll pick something different for the summer. Oh, did they get rid of the random button? I liked the random button a lot. And the little skirt piece. <gasps> We've got a little chain. Oh, look at this dress. You could do a mermaid. I can make her a mermaid. Oh, I'm so tempted. I'm so tempted to make her a mermaid. And then you can still put like a little skirt on her. <gasps> I want her to be a mermaid so bad. All right, I'll, I'll try to keep it as close as I can to what I had originally created, but just slightly updated. Is this another tail? Oh, there's another tail. It's another mermaid tail. There's the mermaid top piece. I mean, you can use whatever top piece you want, but that one fits it perfectly, of course, with the little seashells. This one fits it pretty good too with the scales. Honestly, I just love hoodies so much. I think I'm just gonna like keep her like in kind of like a hoodie style. Oh, there's even more mermaid tails. All right, that's it. I'm creating a mermaid series. All right, here's all the different types of pants. Two pages of pants and then shoes. Oh, the buckle shoes. These teal colors, I'm kind of obsessed with. I'm kind of obsessed with the teals. All the different types of socks. They can be like ombre, fishnet, printed. The socks are cool. Oh, they've got rainbow socks. Oh, they've got rainbow socks. How can I resist the rainbow socks? Okay, I still need to decide on some shoes. Oh, look at that. That one, you can actually see like the socks. <gasps> this one's got rainbow. Fringe, that's another thing I'm obsessed with too. I love fringe. Look at these like boots with like, kind of like the slime top. It's got like a gloopy top. Okay, I can add in the capes. It's all the different little capes that we can use. Oh, I love this. So wings, all the different wings. These are cool. The swords, tails, all these different types of tails, like little beaver tail, little shell, shark. Gloves, all right, extra on the shoulder, all these pieces, wrist. Oh, you can't see it, I've got a long sleeve on. <gasps> like these hands. Knee. All right, and then go into adjustments. So now I can adjust the sizes of things, move the glasses up or down. Oh, that's so convenient. All the different accessories, you can adjust the tail, the cape, the wing, everything as large as you want. All right, I guess I should put some better shoes on for her. Honestly, you guys, I love all the outfits. I, I don't even know what to dress her in. She just looks insane in everything and I love it. So let's go to the others and let's see. So they've got the props, all these different props that you can actually use. Is that a, some cards, scissors. Before I gave her a gummy bear to hang on to. So if I can find that gummy bear again. Yeah, right here. Okay, it's a teddy bear, but I'm calling it a gummy bear because can't live without gummy bears. I just can't. Ew, a poopy. Okay, potato's much better. Potato's much better. I like giving her the gummy bear. Okay, so if I want to change the color of it, of course I can change it to any and every color and I'll give it a matching stomach. Maybe if it's a little bit lighter. There, that totally looks like she's hanging onto a gummy bear. Wait, there are no pink gummy bears. Maybe I should make it like green? A little green gummy bear? No, I like the pink. Even though it's unrealistic, it's real to me. I want to believe it's real, so therefore it's real. Okay, so right props. Give her, can I give her two? Oh, she can hold two gummy bears. What? She can hold the two gummy bears? No, I can 
actually have the two colors. Okay, should it be green? Okay, I guess I guess I can do it in green then. Oh, you can change the outline. Okay, I'll keep the outline. Oh, I'm so tempted. <gasps> that gives it more of a gummy look. Okay, okay, yes. This is a yes. Okay, this sub, so we'll change the sub outline to this hot pink, just so it's just more gummier looking, yummy and gummy. Yeah, she's got her two gummy bears. <laughs> okay, and the shields, you can change out all the different shields. And now I can adjust the props. So, oh, perfect. So now it can look like she can hold them in all different ways. She can literally be like snuggling and hugging the gummy bear, which I, I'm kind of here for. I'm kind of loving that. I'm kind of loving the fact that she can like hug the gummy bear, rotate the prop, make it smaller, make it larger. <laughs> Look, I can actually make it. Okay, this is like, what's the biggest? There's the biggest. Look at like these giant gummies. Let's rotate it. Giant, giant gummy bears. She has giant gummy bears. Okay, or I can make them small. The smallest size is 12. Let's make this the smallest size. And you can rotate them so you can see like their little gummy legs. I am so impressed with this. They're like jumping. Oh my gosh. You guys, I can make them like go like, I don't even know what I want to do. I am so excited. This is the best. I kind of want them giant. All right, I'll put them back in her hands. Like she's holding them. Move it right back in there. She's holding the little gummy bear. This little small one. Sorry, you got to get small. Get small, get candy size. And put it back down. Kind of rotate it a little bit. I like seeing it's like a little gummy leg. Okay. Yeah, definitely in love with this. So now we checked out all the props. Let's go into effects and let's see, behind effect or a front effect. Let's just see what we've got. Whoa, oh, oh, <gasps> look at all these different effects. It's like zombie hands trying to grab her. Yeah, this is so great. Six pages of effects. And do they actually move? Let's move it to the back. So I can move it to the front. Oh, you can have two different effects. So your front effect can be totally different than your back effect. Interesting. So we've got all these different ones. Oh, the fire wings. So here's all the different effects you can put in the background. Oh, the pinata. Oh, the pinata. Again, you can make them smaller. You can make them larger. You can move them up, move them down and around. You can tint them. Oh, I, I got tinted. So I can tint my character. So she's like in the shadow. It's pretty cool. Tint it a certain color. So maybe if I wanted to tint her all purple to match the explosion in the back. Let's go ahead and tint her purple. Now she's just kind of a shadow. Tint effect. Okay, there we go. So I added more green. Animations. So make her blink. Will this make her actually blink? <gasps> she blinked. Watch her blink. There she goes. All right, there's all these different blinks, but I keep blinking myself and missing it. Oh, there we go, it's speed. So there's what speed you want her to blink at. So this one's the slowest one, and then you can get the really fast blinking with six, right? Yeah, no, yes, there we go. So she can blink, front hair. Front hair can move. You can determine how fast it moves. If she had a cape on, her cape would be moving. Back hair movement to really slow, to really crazy fast. You can move the tail. Display hand. Oh, you can get rid of her hand. Okay, so this would make it like really easy, especially whenever I'm gonna go and do the mermaid, that I can actually remove her thighs, remove her feet, so I can easily flip her into the mermaid tail. Okay, and then chat. This is how the chat bubble will look. Okay, so name font. Okay, so you can change the font. Chat font, you can change it. Here's where you can change the color of it, of the bubble. I would just keep it white. Outline bubble color, you can change that. Change her name color. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, the name cookie changes. Chat color, is that the color of the words? Yeah, the color of the words now are changed. Chat style, so now we can change, is it where we want it to go? How small, how big? There's 15 different pick ones to pick from. Emotes, so now you can add little emotes that she's got going on. Pet, now you can actually have pets. Customize 20 pets and use them in studio mode. Tap pet icon to start customizing. Look at the sharky that you can change all the colors to it. Oh, and again, you can just change everything about it. You can even tint it to change the color. I, I want to cry. I want to cry because this is so incredible. This is so amazing. All right, here's all the different pets. Oh, look at the little squid, the little bat. Or is this a unicorn? It's an alicorn, a little seal, all these different pets. All right, so there's so many different animals, including a grim reaper, a little rain cloud, reindeer. All right, so really cute little pets. So you just click on it and then that's where you can like adjust the color of what you want it to look like. Objects, now you can also get some objects in here, like a flying saucer. There's rainbows. There's a whole bunch of stuff. Vehicles, whole bunch of options. All right, and now we're back at the profile. Let's put her in the studio. Oops, I need to change her little avatar there. So there's Cookie as she is right now. Of course, change out the backgrounds, background colors, background styles, all these different locations. Give her some objects here. Maybe put this chocolate bunny in the scene. And now I can actually type 
whatever I want it to say here. So this is Cookie for now, I need to change the avatar. So have her say something like, hello little bunny. All right, hello little bunny. You can decide where you want your speech bubble to be, the bottom, the middle, the top. There I can change my name fonts again. Chat, style, font color. Ooh, that's big. You can't even see where she's at, like what she's doing. So there we go. So Cookie's saying hello little bunny to this little bunny that's apparently flying. This is so much fun. I'm so impressed with all of the different features in Gotcha Club. I'm definitely gonna to be playing around with this a lot more, adding in more characters. I am so inspired right now to do like a mermaid series. So please be on the lookout for that. If there's anything you want me to cover in the app, because I think right now it's only available on Android right now to download, please leave a comment below and I can cover it in another video. I can do a second part if you guys would like to see more features from the app. Um, if not, I'm just gonna go ahead and just jump right into a story and make a gotcha story. And we'll just get right into this and just let it happen. Make sure you're subscribed. Don't miss out. If you subscribe, you always get my newest video. You get the freshest and the newest before anybody else. Have a gummy sweet day and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye cookie fans. Cookie swirl. See?